Today we're going to be roaming the Osage in Pahuska. We're going to check out the downtown, eat some ice cream, and end the day at the Osage Nation Museum. Let's do it. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. Hey, Oklahoma. What's up? It's the Road Trip team, and we're back out exploring Oklahoma. And as we're out traveling to all these amazing places, we're taking all the special precautions to make sure that we are safe and all the people that we're visiting throughout the state. And remember, whether you're ready to get out of the house or not, might as well come and take a virtual road trip with us right now. Okay, here we go. Woo, let's go. go. From Okarchi, the team makes their way northeast to Pahuska. Our first stop of the day is roaming the Osage Historic and Scenic Tours. So we are in a Mercedes van right now in Pahuska, Oklahoma. I'm with Casey, and we are on the Rowing the Osage Tour. We're a historic scenic tour here in Pahuska. We take people around, kind of get them acquainted with the area a little bit, and then kind of show them some other stuff that they might want to do. We take them back to 1872 to when Pahuska was established, take them through the boomtown period of the 19 teens and 20s, and then bring them up to speed to today, to the, the modern boom with Pioneer Woman. We're going to show you where the museums are. We're going to take you up to the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve. Man, this place is awesome. It's rich in history. There's buffalo right over the hill there. So I feel like when people think of Oklahoma, truly they think of the prairies, the wide open spaces, and they really are so beautiful. We get people from all over. Uh, last month we had people from out of the country. I think it was France and Switzerland. Of course, all over the United States, coast to coast. Talk to me about coronavirus. What's going on right now? It has changed the way we operate, for sure, uh, as with everybody, I'm sure. We're not putting a live guide on here now, giving the oral presentation. We're doing it in video, and we're a little more scenic than historic right now. We only are going to run at two-thirds capacity, which means we can take 12 passengers. And if you've got a group larger than 12, and you all come together, we can accommodate that. We're a little town that's really rich in history. We've got a, a modern boom going on. There's all kinds of new businesses, shopping, the museums to visit, and of course us. We just try to make a fun experience and try to get people acquainted with the area so they know where to go and when to be there and stuff like that. After finishing the tour, the team continued to explore downtown Pawhuska. The city is known for its unique blend of Native American and Western culture and is home to a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and other attractions for visitors to enjoy. So I think you all have heard of the Pioneer Woman. Here's her restaurant, the Mercantile. It is very busy as usual. We're just walking around downtown Pawhuska, gonna go in some shops. This place is so cute. Pahuska Pizza Update. P-Town Pizza is amazing. This looks amazing. I love the background. It looks like we're in New York City, but we're in Pahuska. The pizza, like... That's the way you gotta eat a pizza. You just take the first bite, fold it in half. Dude, that's drive-worthy. That's so good. Like, I will come back for this. All right, HT, this is like their popular ice cream shop. Oh, wow. Oh. You can tell that these cones are homemade. What do you think? It's pretty good? Definitely. If you're in Pahuska, even if you're not in Pahuska, come on down to Charlie's Sweet Shop and get you some ice cream. From downtown Pahuska, the team makes their way to our final stop of the day. We are here in Pahuska, Oklahoma at the Osage Nation Museum, and I'm here with Marla. Hi. Tell me, what is the Osage Nation Museum? One of the things I think that's most significant about it, I've heard it described as a, one of the cultural hearts of the people because it is a repository of our Osage culture, our archive materials and our collection. It is the oldest tribal museum in the United States. We're really getting to hear the story and getting introduced to the arts and the history and the culture of our people from the perspective of the people. This fall, we're opening up the exhibition Voices from the Drum. It was a project of the Osage Nation Foundation and this features 19 artists and there's a real diversity of 
of, of voices that you hear there. Our traditions, our culture, we still maintain strongly the best we can through our dances, through our languages. So the art is kind of like an everyday thing, you know, kind of uh, our identity. Just growing up Osage and just as a Native American, the culture around me, that's really influenced to me and who I am today. When I painted this, I was pregnant, about four months pregnant with my son. This is an Osage cradle board with a baby on it. They're incredible. Their pieces are so beautiful. And you can see that sort of continuity in the generational perspective, but also the individual voices that they have and how they take it in their direction. We are currently prepping for exhibition and also renovation and an expansion. And we have put together a protocol. We're following CDC guidelines for social distancing and PPE. Right here, we have a, a painting by my father, Jim Redcorn. He was one of those artists that was always about Osage history, always about Osage culture. But his was to really capture it with a sense of integrity to the history and to, the, to who we are today. On today's road trip, the team explored a few of the places that make the Pahuska area so special. Our first stop was Roaming the Osage Historic and Scenic Tours. This van tour is an incredible way to admire the scenery and historical locations throughout the Pahuska area. Be sure and make your reservations today. Next, the team continued to explore downtown Pahuska. The downtown area offers visitors a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and other attractions with an atmosphere that celebrates Pahuska's Native American and Western culture. Finally, we finished off the day at the Osage Nation Museum. It's the oldest tribally owned museum in the United States, and it's home to numerous historical artifacts, as well as traditional and contemporary art created by members of the Osage Nation. And the next time you're in the area or visiting any other Oklahoma destination, be sure to share your photos with us using the hashtag RoadTripOK. And remember to grab your free copy of our 2020 travel guides. Join us next time where we'll visit the Woolarock Wildlife Preserve, check out Price Tower, and Frank and Lola's. We'll see you then.